friends, Jewel back with another super cool astrology video. I want to talk about composite Mercury opposing Neptune. So Mercury is the communication and thinking factor, the rational factor, the uh, everyday um, habits. Uh, the everyday experiences of the uh, mundane things that we go through. So how that blends with Neptune, which is our fantasies, mysteries, things that have to do with unclarity. So the communication and the thinking patterns are unclear when we have this aspect, often to the point of deception. We are not confronting things in the relationship, and we are doing a lot of assuming and believing with this particular opposition. So every time we are not completely honest, something is bound to go wrong, and disappointment will set in when we have this particular aspect. You both have to be scrupulously honest about everything you say because the tendency is very much otherwise. There is an ease that overtakes us when we have this aspect and we end up not asking very important, pertinent questions of each other. So we do a lot of not hearing and not acknowledging and very much in the back of our minds denying what we very much know to be true when we have this opposition. It's really the most common expression of this opposition for one partner to be completely snowed by the other and then feel devastated by the dishonesty when it finally comes out. Both are taking part in this deception by not being clear on the one side and by not asking questions on the other side. So out and out lies are a common thing to deal with when we have Mercury and Neptune opposing each other in a composite chart. The square and the opposition are both no fun to cut through. There is an embarrassing revealing of yourselves that will eventually take place. You will come to know the truth about what is really going on and what is really being said and shared and intimated between the two of you. When you come to know the truth, it will be embarrassing to admit what is really going on. It will be embarrassing for both people. You've got to be really, really consciously honest when this exists in your composite chart. Consciously honest. It is not natural the way that you blend. It is not natural to be just really revealing and self-effacing and pointed. You must ask each other to be very uh, to be, be very practical when it comes to revealing things about yourselves, when it comes to your communication. If you want to do well with this aspect, there does exist a potential for a psychic bond with all Neptune Mercury aspects, but the good effects of having a hard aspect to Mercury and Neptune really only come in after you clarify what is being intuited and what is being assumed through the hard work of being honest and really wanting to know the truth about what is going on between the two of you and about the relationship itself. So the way that you blend is very much counter to uh, easy, honest, um, self-revelation. And again, we tend to 
uh, tell each other what we know the other one wants to hear because Neptune is very much about avoidance so there's this avoidance of pointed or really honest communication that ends up coming up between the two of us when we have the square or the opposition so I hope this was helpful if it was please subscribe to my channel and you can find me on the internet at truth and aspect astrology.com facebook instagram other social media at truth and aspect astrology i am mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer but i, I interpret all types of charts and please find me on patreon and support me over there so i can make more videos for you more often and i'll be back super soon with more super cool videos Bye bye